Hi, hey, good evening to all of you. Today we are going to see um, discussion type of uh, writing task two essay. Here we have the topic uh, as freedom to children to make mistakes or to prevent children from making mistakes. So there are uh, opposing arguments on the topic, whether to give freedom to children to make mistakes or to commit mistakes. Some group of people argue that it should be given, while other sector of people, they believe that adults or elders should not prevent, uh, should prevent children from making mistakes. So we need to uh, see both sides and give our opinion at the end. So as far as this uh, is a discussion question, we need to objectively see what is happening as per the views, the number one the first opinion, how it works out. The second opinion, how it works out. So this is um, a, an evaluation of the first opinion and the evaluation of the second opinion. So when you see uh, that this is the main content of the body paragraphs, We need to analyze these two paragraphs and give our opinion after that. So you can conclude after that, or you can combine your opinion and conclusion together. So we have understood what comes in the body paragraph. Number one, number two is that argument number one and argument number two. And what comes later, it is definitely the opinion separate or combined with the conclusion. Now we have understood the later part of the paragraphs in the essay, but we need to give a, a pathway to the matter. So that's what the purpose of introduction is. We need to introduce that we are going to discuss two viewpoints here. And the first viewpoint here is this thing. People differ in their opinions. The first viewpoint is children should be given freedom. The second viewpoint is prevented from doing uh, for prevented uh, uh, from mistakes. And we have said there are contradicting views on this particular matter. There are difference in opinions. So we have presented that there are two opposing opinions regarding this particular matter. And what we are going to say in this, that's what we call it as thesis, and it comes into the, uh, towards the last part of the introduction here. So here is the thesis here. Both these views are acceptable and it depends on the age and the type of mistakes they commit. So argument number one, Argument number two, both are acceptable. It means both are correct in some sense. And the acceptability of these views depends on the age and the type of mistakes the children commit. So we are going to prove the thesis 
in the paragraphs. Paragraph number one. We are going to discuss the first viewpoint. The viewpoint number one. When analyzing the benefits of the first option. So we are going to discuss the first group's argument. The most tangible one is the psychology of learning. That is the point, learning. So we are going to explain this thing in the coming sentences. Because young children, early childhood is a period of curiosity, extreme curiosity. They want to know about the things around them. And they want to experience the results of these uh, actions. They are just experimenting. Now the example is given. For example, uh, uh, a child is given advice that uh, excess salt is not good for their health and it will, uh, it will taste better, bitter, not better, bitter. But even though he has got a very keen advice from the elders or parents or teachers about the salt, the excess use of salt, he might try it because of the immense curiosity he has. And once he realizes what exactly happens, that is extreme thirst, he learns and he will never repeat this mistake. So this is what we can see. So we have got the first viewpoint explained. Now, what about the second viewpoint here? The second viewpoint here is the contrary, the opposite side. The second group feels that it is dangerous for the future of children if they are not prevented from making mistakes. If we are not setting limits to the children, their behavior, their actions, preventing them from doing the wrong things, if we are not setting it, what happens is that it will be detrimental in their life. Curiosity, again, is the matter. Out of curiosity or uh, out of peer pressure, an older child. So here we have discussed early childhood. Here we have seen the age of the child is different. In the first paragraph, it was tender age, maybe after a, a toddler age, preschool children. But here, um, a bit older children. It's not adolescence, nearing adolescence. They can be in with, uh, they can be touched with bad companies and they may use uh, harmful substances like drugs or alcohol or something like that. So the child is not too young. Now I can say the child is not too young. They may not disclose the matter to the elders. Even though some may disclose, but not all will do that. And this goes on slowly and steadily. He might be involved in some, uh, some of these activities more frequently. And eventually he becomes an addict. And this is what this thing is. The first paragraph we have seen early childhood and we have small mistakes like uh, having excess salt or something right now we have the example in the second paragraph that older children are doing committing mistakes like having drugs or something which is very serious so the situations are different. The circumstances are different. The people who are involved, the children who are involved, the age group of the children who are involved are different. The mistakes, the type of mistakes are different in both the paragraphs. 
If it in this case, it's good. I can allow children to be free to make mistakes because they learn. But in this case, I cannot because they, if they go ahead and learn something that will be uh, uh, having a long lasting impact in the person's life. Now, this is the opinion paragraph. How do I feel that uh, the opinion goes on? In my opinion, making children free to commit small mistakes at their early stages, help them learn things more effectively, more in the practical sense. However, when the child grows older, they may commit more serious crimes. And if there is a lack of supervision, this might have long lasting impacts in their life. That's what we can say. This is my opinion. After having analyzed these two situations, the conditions, the circumstances, I have come to the conclusion. This is my own opinion. And then we have summarized all the three paragraphs into one sentence, and that's here in the conclusion. It's clear that whether or not a child should be made free to make mistakes is a question which can be answered only based on the circumstances. It may be based on the age of the child. It may be based on the mistakes which he or she is committing. So that is the end of the explanation of this particular essay. Have a nice day all.